What's going on guys, my name is Roast Smith and welcome back to another video on the game Apex Legends Mobile. So yesterday was EA's 2021 quarter two press conference where they discussed the future of Apex Legends Mobile. We found out some very valuable news which is good and bad. The good news is we have confirmed that Apex Legends Mobile is definitely coming, but the bad news is the timeline. So we all thought we would get a soft launch around November, December this year, as EA's CEO Andrew Wilson mentioned earlier this year we would get it 100% towards the end of 2020. This could still be true, but during the conference the developers mentioned that having built Apex Legends into an amazing live service with a deeply engaged community, the talented Respawn team in Los Angeles have expanded Apex development to include a full team in our Vancouver location so that we continue delivering more great content. Japan is now our second largest market for Apex Legends and we have strong plans to continue growth in that region. In addition, Apex Mobile development will be complete in the new year and ready for launch in FY22. Andrew mentioned Japan is their main focus of market and says that the development for Apex Mobile will be complete in the new year, meaning we should get some sort of closed beta by then in Japan. Uh, thank you. Maybe just a quick follow up if I may. Uh, any update or on the outlook for China game approvals for Apex? You know, it is, um, it, it is a very hard thing to predict. What we know is with our partners in China, uh, we are very optimistic. Tencent. Um, but uh, guessing approvals is really difficult. Um, but we are we're optimistic. We believe that this is something that we can ultimately get approval on. But more importantly, remember the mobile game for Apex outside of China. China doesn't require approval, and so it's more about making sure the game is correct, testing the game, and then rolling it out in the key markets. And we're pretty confident on all of those. As we talked about, uh, the Japanese market is one of the largest markets for Apex, second largest in the world. We believe that there's a huge opportunity for mobile in that market. And so we will continue to focus on where we think those largest markets are for early rollout, and we'll keep people informed as we start to test the game and get it into the market. But I think as Andrew said in his comments, we believe that that's coming in the, in the, in the, in the coming fiscal 22, and we're excited, we're very excited about the opportunity there. So just to reiterate on all of this, guys, they are focusing on rolling out the game in Japan as it's the biggest market for a new mobile game like Apex Legends Mobile. So it's just a matter of time of when and where. To end the conference, they said they anticipate a strong performance from our live services and to continue to bring our franchises to a new platforms, for example, bringing Apex Legends to mobile. So we expected a lot more good news guys, but to finish things off, I wanted to give you guys some hope because they mentioned throughout the presentation the month of March 2021. Now Call of Duty developers Tencent are helping develop Apex Legends Mobile too. Following the trend of Call of Duty Mobile, back in 2018, Tencent released a closed beta for Call of Duty Mobile, which landed in December in Asia only. Following this was an open beta, which came in May 2019 in China, and then shortly after, in June, we got an open beta for Australia. After that, in July, we got an open beta in Canada, and then August was the alpha launch and then finally the global launch came in October 2019. This is why before why I mentioned that there's still hope for Apex Legends Mobile to be released earlier as I think they will follow the same trajectory as Call of Duty Mobile and they already mentioned that they will finish the development by January 2021. So again we should get a look at the gameplay in a closed beta anywhere from now until January 2021. 
Then a full open beta should come around May or June 2021 and then as long as the game is fully operational with no bugs or things to fix then the global release should come anywhere between October 2021 to December 21. That's basically all the news I've found out so far from the press conference and it's a real shame because we expected something this month in November. I'm really sorry if I've misled any of you guys, I've literally just been trying to find any information I can and this press conference was the, was the closest thing I basically could come to finding out what's going on with Apex Legends Mobile. But if there's anything to take away from this video is that Apex Legends Mobile is definitely in development and is almost complete and from now until January keep your fingers crossed because we should start seeing some actual gameplay leaks of what it looks like. Regarding my channel as we're probably not going to receive any new info in the next few months, I will try and upload once a week with any new things I find regarding Apex Legends Mobile. And that's basically it guys, so if you enjoyed the content, make sure you stay subscribed and hit a like, and join my official Discord server in the comments as well to keep up to date with any new leaks that I find. Again, it's a real shame, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!